The moment so many of us have been waiting for and grinding the gold saucer while at it is finally upon us. The Nocturne for Heroes 2021 event is live as of September the 13th and will be lasting until October the 18th. Therefore, you'll have plenty of time to get all the event's rewards, the most prominent one being the Regalia Mount, a magnificent four-seater car you really don't want to miss out on. In this video, I'll walk you through all the event's rewards and what you need to do to get them, but for this beauty to be yours, you'll need to get yourself 200k MGPs at the Gold Saucer. If you don't have them yet, make sure to check out my Gold Saucer guide in the pinned comment, the info card, or the description. My name is Ivona from MomsDen.com and if we haven't met yet, go ahead and press that sub button. I make simple guides for classes, dungeons, raids and collectibles you'll enjoy if you're a fan of easy in-game wins. I currently cover all things Final Fantasy XIV and I also livestream on this channel quite a lot. If you're looking for a chill, friendly MMO community, drop by the chat and say hello. In order to start this event, you'll have to talk to Kippy Yakia, the reporter you usually see during these limited time things. She's located in Ulda, at the steps of Nald, and you can find the coordinates on screen and in the description as well. In order to start the quest called the Man in Black, you'll need to level your Disciple of War or Magic, as in your main job, to 50, as well as complete the main scenario quest, the Ultima Weapon, at the end of A Realm Reborn. When you complete the first quest and get the fingerless gloves as a reward, you'll unlock the next one called In the Dark of Night, awarding you with black pants, and then all you need to do is complete the third quest called Messenger of the Winds, awarding you with a cool jacket and a pair of boots. I don't want to spoil the story for you, as it's quite good, even if you don't really know anything about Final Fantasy XV, which is what this crossover event is about. The questline is a must if you want to be able to purchase the rewards, but this chain also rewards you with a badass glamour set, consisting of four parts. The boots, the pants, the jacket and fingerless gloves. This is suitable for both genders and the pieces are dyeable, in case you don't favor the punkish black look. In case you've already completed these quests before, but for some reason you'd like to go through them again, you can do so by speaking to Kipiyakia again to make use of the seasonal event replay option. However, if you choose to replay the story and don't complete it, the vendors will remain locked for you until you finish the questline, so be wary of that if you haven't bought everything you wanted just yet. One of the key features of this questline is the seasonal fate called Like Clockwork in Central Tanalan, which you'll want to complete multiple times if you want to obtain all the rewards. You'll be brought to this fate as you're going through the quest line, but it's a good idea to stick around until you've obtained six pieces of unidentified magitech, as you'll need that much to purchase six orchestrion rolls from the Ironworks hands. You can find this vendor just near the Blackbrush station at the right. This doesn't take a very long time, as the fate respawns rather quickly, and those songs are pretty sweet to have in your jukebox. Upon completion of the event questline, and you'll know you have if you've gotten the Brother from Another Mother Crystal achievement, the Kingslave title, and the overall four pieces of glamour, you should be on your way to Gold Saucer to pick up the rest of the rewards. There will be a vendor called Ironworks Vendor in the entrance square, with three items that you really want to get for this event. The first one is the Regalia Type G title mount, which costs a whopping 200k MGP, and rightfully so. She is a beast, and we don't really know if we'll see her as an in-game reward ever again, so for all we know, this is your one chance to get the mount. Five weeks is a long time for all the gold saucer activities, so if you can't afford the ride just yet, you'll want to get right on that. The second reward is the Noctis Lucis Calium card, and if you're a triple triad enthusiast, you better not be missing out on this one. It's a 5 star legendary card with amazing stats, so 10k MGP shouldn't be a big deal at all. Finally, we've got the modern aesthetics, Lucian Locks for 20k MGP, which is your friend Lucian's hairstyle, suitable for both male and female. If you want to look just like him, you can even dye your hair black, and with the glamour pieces you've gotten through the quest, you'll look just like him. And that's all there is to it when it comes to this year's collab events. Let me know in the comments if you've gotten your own mount this year, and if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, now is a good time to do so, as more FF14 guides are coming soon. Massive thanks to everyone who supports the channel, as they're the reason why I get to create content full-time and not starve to death. Have fun with your new ride and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.